Only a few hours after the Kerrang! interview was released with System of a Down guitarist Darren Malakian saying that his frontman Serge was responsible for the lack of content from his band, Serge himself has released an official confession about the way he claims things really are within the band. It would appear that Serge didn't take too kindly to the things that Darren had to say about him in this interview. To save some time on the recap, we've linked that interview for you in the description of this video down below. But just a few basic details, Darren said in that interview that Serge really didn't want to do heavy music anymore, and he really didn't want to create the Mesmerize and Hypnotize albums to begin with, and he alleged that they basically had to beg him to do that album. He also essentially placed all the blame on Surge for why System of a Down hasn't released any new music in more than a decade. Now, in response to those fiery claims made by the guitarist of System of a Down, Surge has responded with a statement of his own which reads, We are extremely lucky mofos for our fans to want a record out of our ragtag misfit of a crew after all these years, at times demanding it. This of course has led to numerous rumors about the band and our inability to make a record together coupled with he said, he said excerpts from each of our interviews in the past and present at times by sensationalism seeking media who are in no way, let's say, changing the world for the better themselves, smiley face. So I'm going to attempt to clarify things for all of our sake once and for all hopefully without vilifying anyone in the process. It is true that I and only I was responsible for the hiatus that System of a Down took in 2006. Everyone else wanted to continue at the same pace to tour and make records. I didn't. Why? For numerous reasons. Number one, artistic. I've always felt continuing to do the same thing with the same people over time is artistically redundant, even for a dynamic outfit like ours. By that time, I felt that I needed a little time to do my own work. I wasn't discounting restarting the process with the band later. 2. When we first started out, our creative input and financial revenue splits were close to equal within the band. By the time Mesmerize and Hypnotize came around, we were diametrically opposite end on both with Darren controlling both the creative process and making the lion's share of publishing, not to mention wanting to be the only one to do press. 3. I wanted to leave the band before Mesmerize and Hypnotize for these developing reasons. This is why I personally don't feel as close to the music on those records. There were songs I wanted to bring in, but was hampered by unkept promises coupled by my own passivity at that time. Time went by. We all did our own thing. My solo career gave me the confidence as a songwriter and later composer to revisit System of a Down from a position of strength. At first just to tour and enjoy each other's company which we did and do so still. I knew they wanted to make a record, but given the past, I was hesitant. At times there would be emotionally tinged outbursts by one band member or another, mostly blaming me for the band's inactivity. After a long time thinking and processing, about two years ago, I went to the guys with a proposition for a way forward as a band. I wanted to rectify the wrongs of the past and establish a way we can all be happy moving forward, so I recommended the following. 1. Equal creative input. By this time I had released 5 of my own records and was a better songwriter musically and Darren was getting better as a lyricist, so I said let's bring in 6 songs that all band members approve fully and work on them along with songs or riffs from Shavo. Two equal publishing split. I personally feel that a band is an equal partnership and finances should reflect that. 3. Director's Cut. Whomever wrote the song makes the final decision after exhausting all types of ideas from anybody within the group. I did this because in the past I'd bring in a song that would be morphed into an undesirable version that I myself would withdraw from consideration. 4. Develop a new concept or theme so that it's not just a record but a full experience. He says in quotations, obviously I'm omitting many other details here like agreeing on the sound of a new record, which we couldn't do either as we went back and forth with songs by Darren and myself. I remember sending lots of notes on songs by Darren, mostly from his current Scars on Broadway record, most of which I didn't consider applicable to System of a Down, etc. They were played around with some of my songs suffice to say, I think we tried. Ultimately I had to draw a line in the sand because I knew I could never be happy going back to how things used to be within the band. 
and as we couldn't see eye to eye on all these points, we decided to put aside the idea of a record altogether for the time being. My only regret is that we have been collectively unable to give you another System of a Down record. For that, I apologize. Thanks for reading. Peace, Surge. Surge obviously keeps it very real here, and he seems to indicate that there are creative differences as we knew before, but there's also undisclosed financial dispute between these members that we hadn't previously heard about. So now the question turns over to you. What do you think? It seems like Surge is being completely honest here, but Darren had some legitimate points as well. What do you make of this, and what do you think is the best course of action for System of a Down going forward? Drop a comment down below and let us know what you think, and please subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking hard rock and heavy metal news and commentary. Thank you so much for choosing Rockfeed, and we'll see you all very soon.